We gather here today to give thanks to our military veterans, those who face our enemies in combat and face the horrors of the battlefield, and to those veterans who served our country in peacetime, who stood ready to answer our nation's call to battle, should they be needed. Join with me as we offer a prayer for our veterans. Comrades, uncover. Almighty God, we stand here today to pay tribute to brave women and men, living and dead, who have served our country in the armed forces. Accept our thanksgiving for their sacrifices and the sacrifices of their families, which have purchased for us a free land. Cause us never to take for granted their devotion to liberty. Let our spirits be proud of them and our hearts compassionate and our minds clear and determined in giving them the honor and respect they deserve. In Flanders' fields, the poppies grow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky, the lark still bravely singing, fly scarce heard among the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw a sunset glow, loved and were loved and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from falling, failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. We recognize our veterans and we want to show them that we appreciate them. On Memorial Day, we show a lot of recognition to the men and women who gave up their lives. This Veterans Day is uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty, pretty special day. Uh, it, it took a lot of people to go overseas, sacrifice their lives and their, their time in life, because they were all kids when they went over. And we won a war, a very big war, but it cost a lot. A lot. People died. Generations were gone because of World War II. But I, I have to tell you, there's, there is a war that was forgotten. And uh, the gentleman in these blue jackets went to that war. And this year is the 66th anniversary of the beginning of the Korean War. And you know, it never really ended. It's still going. So I, I figure this thing's going to go on forever. But I have to tell you, listen to these numbers. Korea from June 25th, 1950 to July 27th, 1953. That's three years. 54,236 dead. Dead. 103,000 wounded. 8,177 missing in action. 7,000 POWs, 3,450 returned alive. 3,450 returned alive. 51% died in prison camps and 389 POWs unaccounted for. I'd like to read a passage from the book Youngblood. This is uh, the book of the 1st Battalion, 27 Marines, my unit. So why wouldn't I read it? In honor of those who died, in memory of those who never returned, in tribute to all who have served. We were young, we were proud, we were invincible. We were the Marines of our generation and we went to war. We saw and did things that made us age beyond our years. We came to realize we were not invincible. Some of our names are inscribed on a wall of black granite. Some of our bodies carry the scars of wounds received in a land far away at a time long ago. All of us carry memories that will never go away and we will carry them to our graves. Some are good and others haunt us in our dreams. Of those who marched 
to the sounds of the guns. Only those who are listed on the wall will remain young forever. The rest of us have grown old and are marching to the sunset of our lives. Soon we will join our young brothers in arms at the final base camp beyond the stars. We will talk of tragic and triumphant adventures from long ago, and the souls of the warriors will find peace at last.